everybody welcome back to another episode of uncle todd's garage as you can see today we got sunfire in here again i actually have another event coming up soon um the god the michigan gobbler uh it's a similar event to what i've done before except it's held at an off-road park uh, i guess i've never been to it as you can see on the beginning of the video there's a few things i want to get done before we go okay starting over here uh, i want to put my wheel spacers on that's going to create some clearance issues on the fenders so we got fender flares tow hooks um i don't really have great place to hook onto and i'm feeling it's gonna be a little muddy uh skid plate sorry about the bad lighting uh skid plate my engine and transmission are a little bit exposed under there so it needs to get fixed um this is a panel that goes up underneath the hood um I sound trouble with it getting a little warm, so I think maybe that might help. Here we have washer solvent tank. Um, I had to delete the original washer solvent tank so I could relocate the ECM stuff for my snorkel system. Uh, some lights. These may or may not make it on there. Uh, <laughs> this this uh, may or may not make it. This will be a surprise. And uh, cheap CB radio from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description as well, a link to this. I think uh, I've had that for a bit. I think that came from Summit Racing, I think. Uh, but I'll put a link to that, link to the flares, wheel spaces I bought months ago. Maybe I can find that. Um, so we're gonna get to work, get a few things done. Well, I screwed that up and didn't get it on camera, but I just uh, ground this down, welded a nut on the front bumper, and that is the same threads as what's on the flag and the flag will just thread in there and we'll be good to go first thing to cross off well looks like i need to add a set of wipers to the list So what I did is took the cutting wheel, cut it in there so it made it easier to bend four man's metal brake, and then I'll come back and I'll put a bead of weld right down where I cut it to be stronger than it was.
Man, I love rib nuts. I don't know if you know how that works. What it does, it pulls it up in there and squeezes it in there like a regular rivet, but it has threads in it for a bolt. Okay, there's uh, three mounts on it. All we gotta do now is figure out something on this other side. Well, as you can see, this side's a little more challenging. It's gotta hang out in the breeze. Okay guys, here's what I figured out. This bracket I had laying around, it was uh, also apart from the old exhaust system on my Harley. Uh, I modified it so it lines up with these two holes here. More nut zerts, and then the skid plate will bolt right to that. This will just live right here with the transmission. So if I ever have to take the skid plate off, I don't have to worry about trying to take these bolts out or anything. It's just bolts right to this. All right, let's throw that skid plate up there. I put this together for good these bolts will have washers this is just for mock-up Pretty strong. I think it'll work just fine. Okay, we're gonna take it off, get these seams welded, and get some paint on it. All right, guys. So here it is. Let's get the plate turned out pretty good. It's not going anywhere. It's mounted there, there, and then those two bolts on the other side were mounted to the bell housing bolts take you over there and show you that. That turned out nice. Looks good. Except for the oil leak. Which I'm pretty sure is the rear main seal leaking. Now I'm not worried about smashing in the oil pan. Alright guys, uh, I made a big mistake. So I got to thinking after I got this all done this is hooked to the engine. This is hooked to the frame of the car. The engine needs to move move back and forth a little bit. It rocks on the mounts. The mounts are all rubber. So with the way I have it now, I'm going to break something. So I think I have an idea. Um, I'm going to uh, we'll take these bolts out. These two right here. 
Yeah, I'm going to take a piece of uh, HDP uh, plastic. If the plastic is there, it'll sit right on this bracket. And as the engine rotates, it'll just skid on that plastic. Uh, no pun intended, because we're working on the skid plate. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. i pull those bolts out. It shouldn't take too long. Figure this out. So here's how it goes. That's gonna bolt up in there. And then the head will sink down in there. So let me get it all bolted up and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so there we go. Still nice and tight. Got a lot of tension on it. It's not gonna rattle around, it's not gonna move around, but now. If the engine needs to move, this will just sign a slide or a rock right on that. And uh, looks like it's going to self lubricate itself with that oil leak. Right, guys little update for you I have the skid plate all done and painted I will show you that after I get it installed I have the washer solvent tank done um, I spliced into the wires under there ran it around ran all new hoses put it here they had a chintzy little bracket that came with it. it was gonna fall off so I put that on there so it won't pull back up and uh, pretty much it for now let's see here so we can we can cross off the skid plate and the washer solvent tank tow hooks are gonna be optional I think since I got all the wiring stuff out I'm gonna work on the CB antenna all right as you can see, I got got the antenna mounted up there. And you see I got the CBL mounted. And a toggle switch. And it's hooked up. Came up pretty clean. Ran all the way up through the dash. So we're getting closer to being ready for the gobbler. Uh, I got a few more things on the list over there. We'll go take a look at that now. All right, well, we got the CB and the antenna down. We did the radio toggle switch. Uh, that's it. <laughs> uh, this is the most important one. I want to get that done for sure. Uh, these are all easy things down here. So, yeah, really, that's the only thing left is to do the wheel spacers and the fender flares. So don't go anywhere. That's coming up next. Hi, everybody. A few days later, uh, as you can see, you got the sun fire in here still. Um, Tying up a few loose ends on it, uh, a couple wiring things. I kind of redid the uh, snorkel um, setup again because I didn't like the way it was going before. But mostly today, what we're going to do is my son's coming over and we're getting those fender flares put on. I did get the wheel spacers put on, and uh, today's big task is to get the fender flares done. And when we get that done, I think it's pretty much ready for next week. We got a week uh, before the gobbler.
that was more, more proportional. Okay, I guess it must be ready to go because we got the wipers, new wipers put on. I, well, I didn't buy a new flag yet. Got spacers and flares put on. Um, maybe a couple of uh, surprises. All right, guys, there you have it. It's all ready to go for next, uh, well, this coming weekend for the Gobbler 500 in Sturgis, Michigan. Uh, I think it's probably about two, two and a half hour ride from here. Um, plan on going down Friday night to meet up with uh, some other guys. So I appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. And remember, if you're going to be good at breaking stuff, you better be good at fixing stuff. Okay, that needs to be on toggle switch because it just stuck on. <laughs> <laughs>